All right, then. Tell me about your dream last night. What happened? Last night in my dream. It was strange. It was like, uh, it's kind of filmed like a TV show. There was like multiple different dreams that I had. But the one that stood out to me the most was, uh, it was like this TV show. And okay. there was these kids who were in college or university or whatever. And yeah. there was like just some assassin after like one of the t- like students and stuff. I just remember, like, they were all running around, like, the fucking hall and this the school or whatever, just trying to hide from this person and, like, trying to find out why he's doing this. And, like, one of the boys goes out on the street. He's like, oh, he, they're like, how did you escape from that place? He's like, oh, well, you know, I, I just found a way out. Like, I crawled out the window or whatever. And then he was walking up the street and his parents turned up and he was like, yeah, they're, they're going to meet me in, like, a helicopter or something. And then they turned up on the street, just like, oh, hi. And then they, he's like, oh, screw you guys. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Because <laughs> they obviously you guys, didn't... I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have the uh, helicopter or whatever. Yeah. So I don't know. And then it turned into... Um... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and then it turned into this old man. He had, like, this little girl. Like, some guy. I don't know. I think there was... He was like... Some guy was like, I want to paint a picture of this girl and it was all described in like this I don't know he's like yeah she was in this forest or whatever and she's amazing and blah 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 but there was this other girl in this forest who lived with this old man and the guy who wanted to do the painting went and he was like yeah uh just so you know this isn't plagiarism like I'm not plagiarizing this girl and then what? the old man's like yeah that's fine or whatever but then it turned into the old man was like, "Yeah, you've been like a good servant to me or whatever, but now you gotta die." And like this was this girl was like really young as well. She's like teenager, and it was some weird thing. But she managed to run away, and yeah, the dream just ended there. Then there was some other dream about the little girl. Could yeah, could have been. Imagine, but he tried to get another one. So horrid. Oh Jesus, that does not sound like a fun. You when you were like, oh, let me tell you about my dream. I was expecting like some some fun little anecdote about you like flying through the clouds or something. Oh well, there was a part where I was throwing Lego at people. So <laughs> that was the other dream. <laughs> uh. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. The two dead cousins they watch a movie. Hi everyone, welcome back to another. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what the fuck was it? <laughs> hey, oh, you guys! <laughs> okay, well. <clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of <laughs> Reinventing the Real. Oh boy. <laughs> what what, what start? <laughs> you 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 wanted to say real reacts again, didn't you? Yeah, it's because I was in it this morning, and oh boy, what a time! Oh, uh, how's your week been, man? Bad, not too bad. I uh, oh yeah, I this is what I wanted the original cold open to be. But I watched um ten things I hate about you. If any <gasps> listener remembers from last week, it was what my homework. Doing? What did you think? Yeah, I really liked it. To be fair, uh, it was it was pretty good. Right? There was a lot of like oh. swearing in it. They got away for a, with a lot for like a teen film. Yeah. But yeah, I I really enjoyed it. Tell me, Heath Ledger and Joseph Gordon-Levitt don't look like brothers in that movie? They kind of do, yeah. Like like a little bit of George and Lenny syndrome. Yeah. But anyway, uh, this week randomizing again. Normal, they're just complete back to normal randomizer the film yeah. i guess so i guess let's get straight into it all right let me get up the get up the reel all right you ready for this spin spin that, that. real i had the idea we, we could just get the sound effect and then put it in mm. like I'm, this, ain't, this isn't gonna cut it did we get so this week dun, dun, 
James Bond. Hell yeah. Okay, I like this. Did, did we not say beforehand? We're, like, we're probably going to get like a spy esque kind of. Yeah. I want you to what do Shane. Nice. <laughs> All right. Nice. And then let's, we're going to go ahead and hit the game changers. If you don't know what the game changers are, they're just like a load of random criteria that we have to include in our repitching of the film. So, Cameron? Spin that, that real. Like how my audio like pinched out when I did that. <laughs> The waveform that's uh, like a vagine. Th- th- this is becoming a, a a recurring thing. Like we always what? get this one. What? Uh, CW that bitch. Uh, do you want to do that, or do you want to like? We'll, we'll spin. We'll spin another. It. We'll spin another fruit. Yeah, because I yeah, feel like yeah. we always get CW that bitch. Yeah, yeah. It has to include one Franco minimum. Okay. All right. Well, that's easy. Yeah. We can James Franco like is James or Bond. Or, or oh, a villain, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just picturing James Franco as Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> <gasps> okay. The bad guy has to win. Oh, fucking hell. All right. Okay. And one last one. It has to star Michael Cera. Oh, damn, all right. Cool. We're cool, going cool, back cool. to our roots. We are. All right, so what angle do you want to tackle this from? Do you want to recast James Bond completely? Uh, that's what I was thinking at first. But yeah. then I thought, if the villain has to win, maybe this could be a okay. good out for James Bond. I know, like, at the time of recording this, the film's been push back so much and I, i'm so not really sure when it's coming out but that's uh daniel craig's last john james bond i was about to say john bond <laughs> john, C- john cena <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um we could we could have it as like a backdoor sequel so we could introduce like a like a new i don't know we could do like a like a female bond or like a a, a different bond who then will go on to be like the next franchiseman. Yeah. Franchiser, franchisee. Or we could just have it as like a real swan song to you, you know like at the end of like Dark Knight Rises. Oh yeah. And he's it's just, oh again Joseph Gordon Levitt. He's just <laughs> in a cave and he's like, oh bibbity babbity boo, you know? Yeah. Alright, cool. So should we just get straight into it then? Yeah. So, starting off, this is uh, James. I, I, I don't really know what he gets up to in his spare time, but I don't know, he's, he's driving down the coast of the coast of Rico, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, um, yeah, he's just, he's just enjoying life, you know, like, yeah, he's got a polo shirt on, yeah. sunglasses. So this is Daniel Craig, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, he gets gets a phone call like comes off on his dashboard from one Michael Sierra, <laughs> who is uh, he's like, oh, James, uh, is that is that you? I, I I didn't know if I could get through to you on this number. He's like, oh, Agent Cherry, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh. Well, I, uh, I I need your help with something. I'm down at the academy, and you know, you know there's things are uh, looking quite wild here. He's like, oh, the academy. I haven't been there since Casino Royale or whatever. I don't, I don't know if you've <laughs> he just been says there. Casino Royale. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, why do you need me for this? You know, I, I'm I'm retired now. I'm loving life. What do you yeah. want? He's like, 
it's the Francos. They're at it again. And then title cards comes in. It's all like we we you've got like I don't know. Who give me who's a singer that's like you can tackle this really well. You can make yeah. a nice bond song. Bond, um, bond song? Who, who, yeah, who, who's yeah. hot these days? Let's say for weekend. Let's have the weekend do a Yeah. Do a I was thinking that Quick. as well. Yeah. G- g- give me some give me some background music and I'll I'll do my best. <clears throat> James Bond He's going on a last mission And he's gonna be Wishing No 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 and there's like <laughs> visuals of like sexy women like dying and all that kind of James <laughs> yeah. Bond nonsense. Oh, okay. You know what? We have to come up with a with a terrible James Bond name. Yeah. You know, like how they've all got like. So we have to include like the word. What? what yeah. Well, what are we saying? Uh. Oh, I I, I said the Francos. I didn't give them the. Really, so maybe it's like James Bond. Uh, just to be frank, oh. <laughs> just to be frank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, so are, you, are we having the villain as like the actual Franco brothers? And not yeah. Like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I like. So, like, James is like the. Is like the like like like, like the like the Doctor Evil, like the big head of the evil corporation, and Dave's like his little like mini me. He's just like yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is sounding more and more like Austin Powers and James Bond. With his yeah, it goes far. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so 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 James is like you know what for you Cherry. Actually no 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 he wait, so he's still he's like no I'm sorry I'm retired blah blah blah, and then. Like he looks back to his his beautiful girlfriend who's like sat in the car next to him, and she was like, "Oh, who was that?" And he was like, "Just someone from my old life." And he keeps driving, and you see him like look out into the ocean, and then the camera like zooms into the ocean, and zooms in and zooms in and zooms in until it starts zooming out, but you can't really tell it's zooming out until it zooms out. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it zooms out and slowly, and it's like in a fish tank. Like a giant mm-hmm. tank with like a with a shark just in it, and it pans out, and it's just James Franco sat in a in a big like silver chair, Ooh. and he's do he, for some reason he's gone evil and he's adopted his Tommy Wiseau, um, <laughs> thing with um, like uh, alias. So uh, Cameron, would you would you like to do the honors? I know you do have <laughs> a very good Tommy Wiseau. Dave, come over here, man. Uh, yes, James. <laughs> oh God, I'm trying to think of something to say. Um, the plan. It's almost come together. The plan? What plan? I what the the mobile plan? I don't know what. <laughs> The plan to take the whole world of my movie character and bring them all to life. <laughs> That's just, I, Dave, Dave never knows what's going on. He's just laughing. He's just there. Yeah, so essentially, though, the plan is what he wants to do. He wants to... He's adopted this Tommy Wiseau character, but he also wants to bring his other characters out. So, like... Uh, Pineapple Express character, his uh <laughs> Spider Man character, yeah. he was uh him from uh what, what else not, is he in? Um, um, I can't <laughs> think. five minutes of the Green Hornet he's in. Yeah, <laughs> all these different characters. You know, I'll I'll get a list up and I'll I'll just drop some names in. When uh, when the time's right. Nice. 
so yeah, that's that's his plan, and it's like, yeah, that's not very evil, but you know, <laughs> you know, you, you're trying. Yeah, it's like oh, all I gotta do is go into this machine, and the world will become my screen. <laughs> so it's like the reason why like Cherry knows about this is because like he tried it like and uh his character from um yeah super bad yeah super super bad uh his character from there goes to the spy academy he's like oh I want to be a spy why not He's like, uh, James Franco, is that you? He's like, James? No, no, I'm... It's like, okay, that's strange. He's like, yeah, but if you're t- talking about that, then this is, uh, this is because of what, like, my original self. This is what I did. And yeah, that happens. That's... Okay, okay. <laughs> Where do we go from here? <laughs> So then we cut back to James, and okay. So like, so so at maybe at the end of that last scene, they find Cherry and they're like, ah ha ha. What? And Cherry's like, what are you gonna do? Kill me? And he's like, aha. When we are done with you, you'll wish I kill you. <laughs> ah ha 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 ha. And then Cherry's just like, no. Ah ah. And then it cuts from him screaming to James like waking up in the middle of the night in a cold oh. sweat. God damn. And his girlfriend like rolls over and she, she does that thing, you know, like when people are naked and they like cover themselves perfectly with a sheet that's way too yeah. long. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, what's wrong, James? And he's like, it was just a bad dream. And she goes, oh, I'll go back to sleep. But he can't. They're like sat in like a outside beach hut kind of thing and he's just like staring out into the ocean and he's like no words no words are needed you know <laughs> Daniel Craig's steely blue eyes do all the talking <laughs> smash cut to him kick, kicking down well not kicking down but he like pushes down the door to MI6 and walks straight in and the receptionist is like oh sorry sir you can't go sir, sir um sir and he's like don't worry tell him I'm here to see him d- d- oh but sir he's actually in a meeting he's like tell him it's Bond James Bond <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> and so M who is of course now played by Ralph Fiennes is just like sat in a meeting and he's like talking about I don't know uh spy stuff <laughs> the logistics of spy things and you know he's just you can see he's like not really with it he's kind of bored out of his mind but he's he's doing what he's doing mm-hmm. and then someone will make a comment and they're like oh you know um is that what's the need for our agency anymore really you know with everything's online all crime is cyber these days blah 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 you know Mm-hmm. Like, all mm-hmm. people ever do is stare at their screens and think like Johnson over there is watching a movie <laughs> what he's actually he's, uh, like, looks like... he's watching uh, a real reactions and you just hear like our voices <laughs> 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 it's like oh what what you know, I'm just watching these two damn cousins watching movies <laughs> <laughs> and everyone like looks at him and then you just hear well don't stop on my account and everyone's heads turn. And there he is, stood in the doorway, James Bond. And then, like, the receptionist comes in afterwards. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I tried to stop him. And he's like, no, nothing can stop this man. Not even and real reactions. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> then it cuts to James sitting down in um, M's office. And he's like like what you've done with the place just very monotone Ooh. and M's just like don't start with me James I know why you're here we all know why you're here uh, blah blah but you know Ch- Cherry, Cherry is a good agent a, a, a fine a good damn man and they, they both pour a drink out for Cherry because he might not be dead but you know like like we're, it's under the 
like they think that Cherry's dead. Yeah. So they're both sat there like <sighs> smashes glass. <laughs> He's like, so where do I come in? <laughs> We've been developing the latest and the line of a. Uh, I did not know before he gets his gadgets. He needs to find out what's happening. Huh? Duh. So, like, <laughs> so Cherry was a uh, Cherry went undercover to go to the Franco house. I was like Franco, like for movie actors. It was like yes. It was like there was some uh, James Franco was throwing some sort of method acting party and something went wrong with one of the devices, <laughs> and now he's trapped as one of his characters. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we sent in, uh, we sent Agent Cherry in undercover. Oh, okay. So what if all of James Franco's like um, underlings, and you know, like there's always like a, oh look, it's this villain who has like a gold thumb or a big yeah. forehead or something stupid like that. What if all his underlings are just like his friends who are all like also stuck as characters from their movies? Okay. <laughs> So like there's a there's a Seth Rogen as the praying mantis from um, Kung Fu Panda for some reason. <laughs> there's uh, I can't think of any of his other friends. Hold on, hold on. I got this. Uh, Jonah Hill. Is yeah. From, okay. uh... Jonah Hill is stuck. At... I don't know. All his characters are basically the same. Himself. Yeah. Danny McBride. Danny McBride is stuck as his character from 30 Minutes or Less. And he's just a stupid dickhead who likes blowing stuff up. <laughs> and it's, then... it's, it's, oh. it's, it's, you know, it's for, it's for usual suspects. But they're all just like playing yeah. their old movie characters. And they're like... But um, what's his name? But Franco. Franco is the most dangerous of them all. Yeah. He was like he al- he already had you know um a little bit of that grandiose nature to him, but when you mix that with the mind of Tommy Wiseau, oh, that's it. Lord knows what he's gonna unleash on this world. And so Bond's like, where do I sign? Do and then he goes through it. to go get his gadgets and whatnot. Cameron, don't take it from here. Yeah, so he's like, "Well, you're dealing with like some A-listers here, so you're gonna need things to block them out." So here, hands him a phone. What's this? This is this just looks like a normal iPhone to me. It's like, ah, oh, that's where you're wrong. Look at the apps. There's only Twitter.com installed. What, what, what am I gonna do with that? We've actually set you up an account as a thirteen-year-old girl <laughs> who cancel is able to cancel any uh, actor by any for anything. I and he's like, hmm. I that's a real superpower." <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he's like, "Right, that might come in handy later." And then uh, he's like, "Here, uh, it's this is a a bag of." Um, Oh, Award, <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, throw that into a ring and see what happens. No, um, yeah, here's a bag of awards. You've got Oscars, uh, d- d- uh British Best Awards, uh, Tonys, Grammys. I don't know, like all these different awards. <laughs> <laughs> potato, potato. And uh, he's like, uh, he's like, what, what, what will this do? He's like, oh, just give, give him some of these. Someone will definitely get ext- distracted by him, you know. It's it's fine, and uh, and it's like, oh, over here is uh, the guy you said about earlier who's watching us. He's like, oh, he's oh, been yeah. working Johnson. on something too. He's like, well, actually, I haven't been working on anything. I've just been uh, monitoring these two damn cousins damn watching cousins. movies. Reinvented <laughs> 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 on YouTube. He's <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, um, well, they seem, they might come in handy, you know, like, um, what am I going to do with two bloody 
two 21 year olds with a podcast and a YouTube channel. They're like, oh, well, they have a specific set of skills. <laughs> that, uh... Are we going to cameo in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> nice. We managed to sign like a production deal with the, <laughs> with the studio. With, with the, anyway, is there like, family. yeah, they could uh, reinvent movies and like repitch them any ways you want. So they might help you with changing some of the characters. Like, oh, that's good. That's good. And finally, here's uh, a, a Cherry's sister. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's your last gadget. <laughs> a human woman. <laughs> well, she she was with Cherry on the last, like, she knew where he was going and knew his whereabouts. And this is like another bloody woman for him. You know, like, the, the new Bond girl or yeah. whatever. And she's like, oh, hello, Mr. Bond. Who's she played by? Um, Someone who looks like Michael Cera. Um, a female. Yeah, I'm just picturing. We just cast Michael Cera, but put him in a wig. Okay, yeah, <laughs> he's double acting in this. Oh, okay, that's a good one. That goes with the film actually, because then he's like in on it. Haha. Okay. Anyway, so he's like, "Well, I better, I best be going then." And he goes on. He's driving his car down the coast of Rico again, even though he's coming out of MI6. He's driving out. He's he's listening to the podcast. He's like, hmm, yes, this is <laughs> this is quite good. Question: Where is Rico? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he's just driving down the coast a bit. <laughs> he's just he's just driving. <laughs> wherever the road takes him, that's where he's going. <laughs> so he makes his uh. He just heads straight for the Franco mansion, I'm guessing. Yeah. And at the door is... Uh, a Franco fortress. There. Oh, nice. Thank so you. at the door is uh, Danny McBride. He, he's like his doorman for some reason. And he's like, oh, what are you doing here, Bond? <laughs> ah, I, uh, uh, no, he, he actually calls him by Daniel Craig. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, who's that? My name's James Bond. I uh, yeah, I'm a leak spy or blah 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 all that kind of stuff and he's like yeah it's like no nah, no nah, I'm pretty sure I've I've been at a, like a Oscar party with you before he's like oh well it, it just shoots him in the face so whatever oh, uh, yeah yeah he can't he can't deal you know it's weird it would be weird for the audience as well because it's like very fourth wally but mm-hmm. I've, yeah. yeah I've just had an idea I know yeah yeah go for it no no okay so then. He like breaks into the compound of Cherry's sister, who's just like, hmm, yeah, 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 you know. <laughs> oh, okay, no, can we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and he's like going round with his like sni- not his sniper rifle, with his um, pew pew, a pistol. Yeah. And he's just like, <laughs> you know, taking people out as you do, blah 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 blah, doing his spy stuff. And he gets down there. I I just it, I realize it sounds like we're already wrapping up the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Just go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like he gets down there, and um, there's like a like a big army of um. No, so he sees um James Franco on the other side of the room, and he's like, oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> he's like. You think you can defeat me? It can't be done. Oh, hi, Cherry. <laughs> and then, like, James is like, you know, I'll take out you and anyone who gets in my way. Blah, 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 blah. And he's like, yeah. I'd love to see you try. <laughs> and, like, this whole, like, army of... Because he's made, like, mo- he's remade the machine, but, like, mm. more powerful. Um, and like just these waves upon waves of like Seth Rogans and Jonah <laughs> come out of this machine <laughs> it would just come out of this machine and he starts charging at James and he just whips out his gun he's like gah, 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 gah. kills them all like it's nothing like literally like it's nothing yeah and he's like I'm gonna sh-, he, and James's like I'm gonna shut you down I'm gonna shut down the machine and I'm gonna stop all those clones he was like oh really how are you going to st- stop a machine that's going to stop you? 
Ho. And he's like, what? He's like, ha ha. Did you really think James Bond was real? He starts malfunctioning. Oh. Sparks fly out of his mouth and his eyes and whatnot. He just, he explodes. Jesus. And James goes up to him and like touches him. He's like, oh, what the hell? He's a robot. And you just hear, aha, of course he was a robot. And the chairs just like start spinning round. He's like, I knew I wouldn't get your attention otherwise. Ooh. And looking back at him is Daniel Craig. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh snap James just looks at him Wait wh- What Cherry's sister Hits him over the head from behind Oh no Cher- And like just as everything's fading to black He just sees Cherry, Cherry's sister And Daniel Craig stood over him he goes, Nighty night Cut to black James's girlfriend wakes up <laughs> <laughs> is it all, is it all the dream? <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't really know where to go from here. I knew I wanted to like twist it and be like, oh, Daniel Craig, the actor, is actually. Yeah, in on it. Hmm. Yeah. Because he's like, what else am I going to do with my career after James Bond? Well, yeah, that's a. Uh... That could be. He's, he wakes up. He's sitting in like a chair or whatever or in like a room. And he basically says what you says, and like he goes, "Oh, yeah. What else am I supposed to do? This was my best role, so mm. I've come to immortalize it and blah, 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 and whatever." And he's like, "Ah, oh, you won't get away with this. I've got, you know, top agents will be descending on my position right now. Like, you know, he's got some fail safe installed on him or whatever, yeah. you know, and." It's like, oh, really? Because we're the same person, and obviously I know how to deactivate that and whatever. He's like, oh, God. So like, it's fine. You'll be here, and I will I can just easily extend my contract. <laughs> See you later. And he's like, whoa, what? He doesn't really know what to do. And he realizes, oh, damn. <gasps> that, that's it, that's it. So the reason he wanted to get rid of James Bond is because James Bond always wants to retire, and if yeah. James Bond retires, then Daniel Craig has nothing else to do with his career. So he needs to erase that part of James Bond so mm-hmm. he can play James Bond in a in a very pseudo fourth wall kind of yeah yeah. Anyway. Sorry, I cut you off, Karen. See, he's like he's tied up. He's bound to the chair. He manages to like get out. You know, it's James Bond, and Come on, it's, like, it's James fucking Bond. Yeah, he's like, oh, this is the best time to use this, and he whips out his phone with the with the app, and he logs on to Twitter.com, and he's like, oh, <laughs> why do you keep Daniel saying Craig? Twitter.com? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I keep saying it like that. <laughs> and he's like, oh, <laughs> it's time to become. It's time to go incognito or whatever, and he oh, starts we all know what that tapping means. away. <laughs> he starts tapping away at his phone, and he's like, "OMG! Did you see Daniel Craig? How he held that coffee in his hand? He normally holds it in his right hand, but he holds it in his left this time. That's because if he does that, that's racist, homophobic, and uh, there's uh, you know other things. You know, it's just he's tweet, cancelled. and then." These numbers just all start flying on the screen. It's like, bam, bam, bam. News outlets start covering it and all that. He's like, what? What's this? I'm cancelled? For holding a coffee? What? <laughs> it's fine. Hollywood won't drop me for that. It will only make him stronger. And then, uh... See, he's on his way to, like, the writer's room still with all that. And he gets there, Daniel Craig, and he's like, oh. Um, about my contract for James Bond. It's like, I want to sign on for at least five more movies. A big Hollywood man's just like, oh, we thought you'd never ask. You know, we, 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 
you know, you're getting kind of old, but you, everybody loves you. You know, you, you're you're great. We don't want to give you a like a last song. And he's like, ah, oh, this is perfect. You you don't mind about the Twitter stuff? He's like, yeah, well, it might take us a few, like a while to get through that, but we got the perfect marketing team to spin it. You know, we we just make it into a nice meme or something. You know, whatever. It's just me and you sat in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Higher with the marketing team. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was actually going to use us to uh, help with the end of the thing. <laughs> because the we're still, yeah, because we're still one of the gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> so uh, the that's what happens. James is like, well, I've only got one more gadget now, and he was like listening. He's like. No, he couldn't think of what to do. He's like, oh, what am I going to do in this position now? You know? And then all he hears in the background is his, like, phone turn on. And he's just like, it's two down cousins. Oh, they watch movies. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, oh, my God. That's it. And so he poses himself as he turns into a writer. And he, cu- he comes and gets us. He's like, oh, Curtis and Cameron from Reinventing a Reel. I need wait, your wait, help. Wait, hold on, hold on. Who? I'm lost. Who, who, who <laughs> James Bond, that? James Bond. <laughs> James Bond. Okay, okay, okay. It's probably very confusing. I'm just going wait, off. How, how did he get free? What happened? <laughs> he j- I said he's just James Bond. He just he could just get free. It's whatever. <laughs> he's fucking Bond, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> he's like, oh, Curtis and Cameron from Reinvent the Real. I need your help. We need to pose as writers in a, the next James Bond film. So, I... We need to... Um, write me out of existence. I'll write my way out. <laughs> we're just like, oh yeah, screw it, why not? We, yeah, we, sure. we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the back of his car, driving down the coast of Rico, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> everywhere is the coast of Rico. <laughs> and uh, so all these actors who are like doubles of themselves, you know, like they're all starred in this film as well in the next James Bond because they're like starting to film like write it and all these other actors in the writer's room as well and we're just there with like the real James Bond and then it turns into like a (laughs) free-for-all the real James Bond (laughs) (laughs) and then yeah so that was our pitch for the new James Bond film how do you like it Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> what? What it is? Huh? <laughs> oh, no, son of a bitch! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> I phased out for like a second, and I was like, wait, what? What just happened? Did, did, did we finish it? Huh? <laughs> is it like, it's the end of fucking Monsters, Inc. And like, <laughs> and like the fake set falls apart. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and this cuts. is we've pitched this film to <laughs> to the broccoli. So this Bro- episode, this episode is the pitch for the new James Bond film. It's all connected. It's like, uh, oh my yeah. god, yeah. So it just smash cuts to so like so James Bond is like about to die or something. And then it just smash cuts to the two of us, like studs. <laughs> it's like sweaty in an office. Just but like, no. and then, and then, and then a bomb. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> pretty much it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I went with that, but that was going out of control, so I needed to reel it in somehow. So, like... <laughs> That was the only way I could think of like closing this up because we, you were right earlier when you was like we, we're kind of ending this film and I should have just left it there, but no, you you just let me keep running and running. It was getting out of hand. Like that, that's when we get the most funny, the most funniest. That's when we get the best content because you can hear that neither of us have no idea what the fuck yeah. is going on. Did you not but, see the, Did you not see my face when you went? <laughs> and so that's the end of the thing. Yeah. Like, what, huh? <laughs> make it make sense. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess to close it out, they're like, 
well, how is that supposed to work? Like, you know how like many actors we have to pull on for that? It was like, oh, yeah. oh yeah. it sounds a bit convoluted to me. You know, which ones did a uh, James Bond and a Daniel <laughs> Craig? What's going on? I don't you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like, okay, well, uh, we've got this idea for a rom com that we just did, or maybe a. Uh, a Scooby Doo documentary, and they're just like, "Oh, just, just get out of the office, get out of the office." And then, like, just before we leave, like Johnson comes because Johnson was real. Right? He was yeah. one of the producers, and he comes out and he's like, "Hey, that Scooby Doo documentary." He's like, Here's my card, <laughs> and he he looks at the, and like we look at the card and it says Hanna Barbera on it. And we're like, okay, <laughs> and we just smirk at each other, and then it ends like a Looney Tunes commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> and um so yeah, that was basically how we tried to pitch this James Bond film. We've uh we've you know, we just got back from the writers' room ourselves, so we were like, well if if it's not gonna work with them, we'll just put it on the podcast. So yeah, that's how that's how we went to Hollywood and um, tried to pitch a James Bond film. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was fun. My God, I've confused like myself I'm... with it. No, that's what I'm saying. I feel like we reeled it in at the end because yeah. we were going through so many hoops and whatnot. I'm like, every time. <laughs> I'm so... Just for the listeners at home, Cameron keeps taking drinks, but every time he does, he's so he's got a reinvent in a real mug that I got him for Christmas, and every time he does, he perfectly presents it to the camera <laughs> like it's a fucking Pepsi commercial. Yeah, if you could see it, you know, I'd say buy the merch, but you don't have merch yet. Maybe one day. Ah, oh, I guess with that. That's been another episode of Reinvent the Real. Uh, uh, I've been Curtis. And I've been Cameron. See you next week, man. See you next week.